Hi my beautiful Sagis and welcome to Arcana Priestess. This is going to be your February the 14th until the 21st. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So for those of you guys that are new, welcome and if you are returning, I'm so glad to have you. Um, there are a couple of announcements. So for those of you guys who are interested in a personal reading, the um, link for that will be in the description box below. There is going to be a sale 30% off from now until the end of the month and on Valentine's Day, um, personal readings will be 50% off as well. On Instagram, we are doing a new series. So on Fridays, we do our weekend series where we go through all of the signs. You can look at it from your energy and the person that you're dealing with, as well as on um, Saturdays, we do the free extended giveaway. So if you're not following me on Instagram, feel free to follow me there to see more content. The link is in the description box below, as well as Facebook. So if you don't have Instagram, everything I post on Instagram automatically goes to Facebook because I know not everybody has Instagram. So you can follow me on either one of those. And if you are or on here as well then you are automatically entered in the giveaway to win a free reading at the end of the month which is something that I do every single month all right guys so other than that uh, the link for the extended version to this will be in the description box below this is going to be a general reading we're going to look at love finances career everything that I see is what I'm going to say and in the extended we're only going to focus on you and the person that you're interested in we're going to pull romance angels clarify those we're going to go through you and each and every one of the signs and then we are going to do your love reading all right so we have the fool you guys some of you guys could be dealing with an aquarius this looks like a fresh start to me the high priestess it almost looks like a secret unleashing you to a fresh start something that was hidden being revealed something giving you faith some of you as well trusting your intuition giving you faith on a new start Maybe this is a new relationship. The Taurus with the Libra, Six of Wands. It looks like your career is going to be very, it looks like you're very, you know, well focused on being single in your career here. It's like some of you, your intuition is telling you that your main focus should be on having fun, traveling, exploring the world, and, you know, not being bound to anything. This is a time for celebration, a time where you're going to be recognized. People are going to be acknowledging you for your skills, for your crafts, as well as, you know, um, romantic interests. And it's like um, the world is your oyster. The Ten of Swords. Some of you, this is coming in after a time of betrayal. Some of you, this is breaking free from a relationship. You're coming into an energy where you're single as the fool and the six of wands because of something that was hidden, some sort of betrayal, right? Something that was done behind your back. You realize you got played, some of you. But you're coming out on top. Like, this isn't... It made you feel like the Ten of Swords, but you're not coming out as the Ten of Swords. You're coming out as the Six of Wands. So this is almost like a tower moment where it breaks you down just to bring you up, right? Like a death and a rebirth as well. Messages for Sag. The Magician. Wow, you guys. This is so good. You have all the tools that you need, all the tools and all the faith you need. You have the guidance of the universe surrounding you. You have people that are admiring you, that are inspiring you, that are motivating you. You see your worth. Wow. And with this fool, I was like, you almost, <clears throat> I was thinking you almost like seem like a magician. Like you're gonna pop out with some sort of tricks it's like the this bag of tricks that you have is really just you being your true authentic self and living up to your fullest potential but you've been holding back not anymore the hermit some of you gained some sort of wisdom here you learned some advice from life lessons know that you can look back at the past to get answers to certain questions that you have or that you will have coming up you're wiser than you know <clears throat> the six of swords you're moving towards calmer waters 
Some of you are going to be traveling here. Some of you are going to be discovering who you are through travel. You know that there's a deeper meaning in life. It's like some of you are getting all this victory and success, but it's still not making you happy. So you know that there's something else that you're looking for. This could be love, traveling to find love. It's like you know that where you were is not going to find you or going to get you what you wanted. So you know you have to move to um, locate it. The seven of wands here. Some of you are interested in somebody that is being defensive towards you. Somebody that has other options. Somebody that you feel like you need to defend your position. It's almost like she's walking, she's going towards something and she's kind of like shocked at what she sees. Or this could be going towards somebody that, you know, that this is not reciprocated for some of you. The Six of Pentacles, some of you, this is, um, you know, sometimes there's times in our lives where we just have to put work first. We just have to put ourselves first. We know that no matter who comes into our life, how great they are, that it's just a time for us to work on us. Messages for Satch. Queen of Wands, some of you, there's a third party here. Could be a fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo. Could be a Leo. Somebody was, you know, dividing attention between two people, not, you know, making this person as available to you as you would like. You could sense that something was off. The King of Swords, this person was um, cold, detached. But not when it came to, you know, intimate relations. Then they were interested, engaged, fascinated, mesmerized. The sun with the nine of swords here. Some of you fear happiness. Some of you fear not finding happiness. I think you're realizing that you were created a false dream. The only thing holding you back is your thoughts, right? There is a beautiful future ahead of you. You just have to look forward. But I think you're stuck. You're not looking back. You're just kind of stuck in the position of some of you being surprised at the secret. The Four of Wands. Some of you, it's hard for you to let go because you wanted a future with this person. This is somebody that you saw yourself. You know, some of you were in this relationship for a very long time. Like years. Some of you are really, you know, anxious and nervous about when it is you're going to get married and have kids and settle down. The chariot, though, it does look like it's coming towards you. I think you need to focus on other things and allow this to come towards you. You're controlling it which is just delaying it. Okay, let me clarify some of these because there's so many. Clarify the fool. The fool with the five of swords. Some of you are conflicted about a new start here, struggling um, to find your new start, to have faith. It's like you want to have this new start, but you have anxiety holding you back. You're not 100% sure. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Let's clarify the High Priestess. The Eight of Cups. Yeah, you intuitively needed to walk away from something. Some of you were preparing because you knew that once it came out, you would have to walk away. Let's clarify the Nine of Swords. You intuitively knew you deserved better for some of you, the Five of Wands. Some of you, this was a false start though. You were betrayed by somebody that you rushed into something with. But yeah, this is a lot of mental conflict here. This could be other people influencing your um, decisions. Clarify the sun. 
the six of cups soulmate energy this person feels like home so right by the four of wands here some of you are just separated from somebody that you know that you're meant to be with and it's just not the time clarify the four of wands with the four of pentacles so yeah you won't let go of this vision of this thought of being with this person this person won't let go of this idea of being with you the thought some of you guys are, are married to this person we've talked about marriage with this person ten of swords clarify the ten of swords but this is like um i feel like stuck to glue stuck with the glue page of wands with the ten of swords an ending and a new beginning see you're picking yourself up clarify the chariot with death an ending and a new beginning every time this is going to really transform you here some of you this really did bring you into some of your deepest darkest days um but it this is saying that it is going to get better there is a huge light at the end of the tunnel and you're going to be shocked there's so much power within you that you do not realize an untapped potential but um sometimes your power has to be taken away for you to realize right that it was ever there to begin with and some of you that is the lesson here Clarify the Six of Swords. With the Knight of Wands. You're moving away from somebody that wasn't, you know, committed to you. Some of you walking towards somebody who, you know, at that time when they were, you know, not paying attention to you. And maybe you found out, maybe you saw something even. Because I said she's walking towards something and she doesn't like what she sees. realizing that somebody was entertaining other people clarify the magician i think it's because you saw it that that's why you know whenever you do get down it's because you picture what you saw in your head the ten of swords yeah it's over here there definitely was this is double magician energy now definitely was somebody playing games playing tricks um but it's not like it was obvious so i think this is somebody that was really good at what they do very manipulative person So you can't beat yourself up for this here. It's over. Clarify the hermit. With the tower here. So maybe this was a Virgo Scorpio. But yeah, this really made you, you know, take a step back and take a look at your life. Re-examine everything. That's really what tower moments do, right? So we can realign our lives and build that tower back up without the things that are breaking it down, right? Wearing us down. Clarify the seven of wands. The ace of pentacles. You're defending your new beginning here. There's something new that you're going to be investing your energy and time into. You're going to come out um, on top if you're fighting for something, a position at work. If you're, you know, if there are other options around somebody that you are interested in, it's almost like you're relentless now. You're you're just on top automatically. This is like a boost within, you know, your presence. I think you have a boost within your own inner confidence, within your own ability. Yeah, because Queen of Wands, clarify the Queen of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune, yeah, things take a turn. I'm getting like, for some of you, this is like some um, buddy who had like a lot of insecurity issues that is coming into a place in their life where they do no longer feel insecure, where they feel, you know, like they woke up as a supermodel or something, right? Like, so confident
things are really turning around here. I see abundance here. I see money coming in. I see people that are more aligned with you coming into your life here. This is all because of you and the work that you did within yourself. You're attracting this. You're manifesting the things that you want. You, you're really putting in the work for them. You're realizing your power. You're realizing your strengths. You know what you're you know, meant to do. Some of you are realizing your soul's purpose or you're realizing the one that you're truly meant to be with. Clarify the King of Swords. With the Eight of Wands here. Yeah, it looks like the person that was holding back and not communicating has a lot to say. Of course, now that you've moved forward, this person has a lot to say. There's going to be a lot of communication coming in from this person. Just as everything is, you know, if the wheel is turning this way for you and you're looking like this and you're feeling like that, imagine what, you know, the other end of that um, wheel looks like. Imagine what the other end of that karmic wheel looks like for this person. Of course, they're going to shoot you a message, right? So this is when you have to remember who you are. You know, don't even let that little part of your ego make you, you know, respond to that person in a way that makes you feel good. Like, just don't respond at all. Just pick yourself up and move forward here. This was very different. I really like it, though. All right, I'm going to play you guys some oracle cards, and then we're going to go towards your love reading. Messages for Sag, please. So we have communication is key, new moon in Gemini. Don't let your past hold you back and nothing is yet set in stone. All right, you guys, so that was your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are looking for a personal reading, the link is in the description box below. Don't forget there's 30% off until the end of the month. Uh, the link to your love reading is going to be down below as well. We're going to go ahead and start that now. So have a great rest of the week and I'll see you next week. Take care.